Hi, this video will cover how to associate parts used and preventive maintenance tasks together. The reason for doing that is MainSmart has the functionality to associate parts used with a PEM task, so that upon completion of a PEM task, a part will automatically be deducted from your inventory. This will save you time when you have to complete your PEMs, and I'll show you how to set that up. This video, however, will not be covering how to create your PM list or edit any PM tasks. First, we'll go to the Preventive Maintenance screen over here. And we're going to go under Options, Parts Usage, and Manage Parts Usage Links. A new window will show up and you're going to press new and you're going to associate a task and a part being used and we're going to pick the piece of equipment that we're going to be using and the task I'll just pick any to show you as an example so pick your equipment pick the task that you need Pick the part that you're going to be using by using the search feature here. You can key in everything as necessary and then press search and pick what you need. And select the quantity that you'll be using. If you haven't set up your defaults on this page, you'll also have to select your cost center and your accounts. Once all the required information has been filled in, press save. And it'll get saved. We're going to close out of this now. Now we're going to find that PM task that we just associated a part to right here. And we're going to complete it. A new window will show up. This notifies you that a part was automatically used upon completion of this PM. It shows you that this is the part that was used, how many was used, and what the quantity is remaining in stock. If we go to the parts used screen, you'll see that an entry was automatically generated by MainSmart to use this part. Up at the very top, and this is the same part that we use for that PM. If you're going to be printing this task and emailing it to someone or giving it to a technician, and you want them to be able to see the part that they're going to be using when they do this task, select your task, right click, and press Print Selected PMs. And depending on your report format, the part may or may not show up. In this case, mine did. But I'll show you where you can find that. You can go to Options, PM List Format, and you can pick the one that you need. Details and parts will include any special instructions you have associated to the task, plus the parts list needed for that task. In summary, I've shown you how to associate your parts used and your PM tasks together to automate the process. This will save you guys time when you have to complete a whole bunch of PMs. Thank you for watching, and if you're looking for any other tutorials on preventive maintenance or parts used, please check out below, and have a nice day.